Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos. Welcome, everybody. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So, all I'm asking you to do and God wants you to do is be prepared to receive what I, he has for you. Amen. We've talked about this. <laughs> Don't kill the pastor. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. God has something for you. And if God gives you something, don't attack the pastor. Don't attack the speaker. <laughs> Go to God and say, how dare you talk to me like this? <laughs> he wants to correct you. He wants to bless you. He wants to change you. But we need to receive. We got to be able to receive. Amen. Yeah. We got to be able to, 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 to line up with what the word of God says. Amen. And sometimes we get a little off course. You know, when you're going somewhere and you take detours here and there. Well, we got to get back to the main main road. Mm -hmm. We got to get back on our mission yeah. that God has put us on. Amen. And sometimes he'll correct us and, you know, that GPS brings you right back to where God wants you. And we need to be right there. You know, we got to, sometimes we want to take the back road. <laughs> he, told, he told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Jonah said, <laughs> I'm not going. He jumped on a boat going somewhere else. Uh -huh. And they was having some problems. Welcome he was there was going somewhere else but finally he went and talked to the the captain of the ship and says you know why you're having problems is because i'm running from god how many of us are running from god amen we need to stop that and say lord here i am to serve you lord i'll go i'll go to nineveh he told the captain of the ship he says you know just throw me over he had faith. You know, God had something else. To, he had already prepared this for him. Yeah. God sent him. God had a fish ready for him. The fish took him to where he needed to be and spit him out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Good thing he it came out the front and not the back. <laughs> Praise yeah, God. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but God knows where we need to be. We need to know where we need to be. Amen. So praise God. Amen. We're going to continue with God's counting on us. Amen. But he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Nos quiere bendecir, nos quiere animar, y nos quiere cambiar y corregir. Amen. So those of you that are listening by audio, video, watching by video, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't tell you any, any better than that. Grab your source, soldier of God. Amen. And grab your Bible and say it like a mean in church. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, when you meet with him on a daily basis, you can say these things. You know, he's counting on you. Can God count on me? Keep going, Scott. We're, uh, we're going to catch up a little bit on what we talked about last week. Can God count on you? Oh. Keep going. You can always count on him, but he's counting on you too. Because yeah. he's the one that calls you. He's the one that equipped you. He's the one that puts you on this mission to succeed and not to fail. Yeah. You know, when you start getting off course, when you start getting into the world and not having a relationship, you're going to find yourself off course. Amen. Yeah. And you're going to see yourself, I'm not good enough. Because we start seeing ourselves in the world. We start competing with the world. And the world's going to say, you're not good enough. You're not qualified. You know, you got to do this. You got to do that. And jealousy comes in. And, and all of a sudden, you're sitting on the sideline saying, you know, I'm no good. I'm a nobody. You start believing these things that people are telling you. Sometimes family, sometimes friends, sometimes coworkers. But the enemy is going to use somebody to make sure you get the message. Yeah. You know, as we have relationships with him, he's going to tell us through his word, I have qualified you. I have called you. I have approved you. Yeah. You need no one else. Amen. I just want you to bring my message to this negative world. Be positive. Yeah. Amen. Be positive. Amen. We're going to be talking about words in a few minutes. Keep going. Here it is. <laughs> Trusting. Jesus in the storms. And of course, that was our text, and we're going to read it again in a few minutes. But the storms of life will come yeah. to believers and non-believers. Right. Amen. The 
But you got to prepare yourself and be ready on a daily basis. Amen. Some of the scriptures we're going to read. Keep going, Scott. <laughs> we got to have that faith on a stormy day. You know, for Jonah to say, Captain of the ship, just go ahead and throw me over. How did he know that he was going to be saved? Jesus, God had already prepared that fish to catch him and bring him where he needed to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, we may get off course and say, Lord, forgive me. I sinned against you. I did wrong. I took the wrong turn. Forgive me. You know what he's going to do? He's going to bring you right back. He's going to bring you right back. You got to get up and get back on course. Yeah. You know, and quit having pity parties. All Forget right. about the pity parties, you know. Get back on there and proceed and press us. Press on. Yeah. Amen. Don't quit. Don't stop. Just press on. Amen. Keep going, Scott. Yeah. So have faith on, 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 on those uh, stormy days. Jesus will calm your storms. And we're going to find out if you open your Bibles uh, to Matthew. Oh, no, excuse me. The book of Mark. Book of Mark. I'm going in close to read. We're going to read our text that we, we read last week. This is part two of Can Jesus Count on You? Amen. So praise God. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. And we're going to start. Verse 35. <clears throat> verse 35 through 41. What chapter? Uh, verse 4. I mean, okay. excuse me, chapter 4. Verses 35 through 41. That's our text. Mine starts off with this. The storm is still. 34, uh, 35 says, And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. <laughs> You've heard this before. Jesus told his disciples, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, if Jesus gives you a word, you can take that to heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because whatever he says is going to happen. That's right. He had already told them, we're going to the other side. And of course, the storm rises, and now they're having doubts. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Jesus gave you another day. I'm getting ahead of myself, but this is the day the Lord has given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Amen. 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 Guess what? The storm is going to rise during the day. Uh -huh. It's not going to be real nice and calm all day long. Right. Storms are going to rise up, but guess what? Uh -huh. You have to be ready for it. Yeah. You have to be ready. You got to have faith. It says the just shall walk by faith. Uh -huh. We walk by faith. Amen. And thirty six says what? And when they had come, when they had uh, sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship, and they were also with him. Uh, other little ships. Yeah. 37. And there arose a great storm of wind and waves beat unto the ship. And so it was now full. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where's your faith? <laughs> 38. And as he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and says unto him, Master, careth thou, careth thou not that we perish? 39. And he rose and rebuked the wind. And said unto them, Peace be still. Yeah. And the wind ceased. <clears throat> and there was great calm. And 40, 40 says, And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Mm. How is it that ye have no faith? Mm. 41. And they feared ex exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? Mm. Amen. <laughs> Wow. Well, guess what? We have the Word of God in you. We have the Word of God. Well, we're supposed to get the Word of God in us. Yeah. When we get the Word in us, we're supposed to be hearers and doers of the Word. When we get the Word in us, he says, out of your innermost being shall flow yeah. rivers, rivers of living water. Amen. Amen. So you're going to be able to speak and use that authority, use the name of Jesus, the Word of, the word of God, the Word of Jesus, and also speak the word in authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're going to find out the words have authority. Words have power. Yes, they okay. Do. So we need to really grab a hold of this. Keep going, Scott. So Jesus is going to calm our storms. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and yeah. be glad in it. Some scriptures, some verses in different translations says we will be joyful or have joy 
This is the day the Lord has made. I will be joyful in this day and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So guess what? <laughs> tomorrow is going to come. And when tomorrow comes, rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because God has given us a new day to serve him. Amen. Amen. The storm is going to rise up. But guess what? I'm walking in faith. I'm going to walk out in faith, and I'm going to walk in his name. I'm going to walk in the authority of God and do what he's called me to do. And I'm going to press on. Amen? I'm not going to hold back. If I'm doing, if I'm on my own, if I'm doing it in the flesh, guess what? The flesh won't want to do anything. But we're tribe being. We're spirit man, have a soul, mind, will, and emotions, and we're to use the word of God to renew our minds. We use the word of God to feed our spirit man. And the flesh, sometimes we just got to say, hey, oh, yeah. you're coming along. Yeah. Or sometimes we just got to tell it, mm -hmm. stay out of this. Yeah. <laughs> We're going through. <laughs> We're pressing on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the flesh, sometimes you got to drag it along because the flesh don't want to do anything. No. Amen. Uh -huh. hey, I'm ready to go watch the Cowboys lose again. I mean, <laughs> win again. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to give you a new day and listen I have faith because I know God has already been there in tomorrow you know he's already been there so I'm going to have faith that I'm going to be strong in knowing and have faith that he's going to be there he's been there and I'm going to press on and be glad and rejoice in it. Yes. Thank you, Lord, first of all, for waking me up. Yes. Amen. It wasn't the alarm clock that woke you up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. God says, it's time to get up. Wake up. Amen. Praise God. And this is where we're going to begin here. Amen. We're to give it all to him. It says, this is yes. a different translation. Of course, you know, King James says, uh, let's, let's go read it. Amen. First Peter 5, 7 and 8. Yes. First Peter is uh, before Second Peter. <laughs> you know when you're there, and it's right after James. Mm -hmm. First Peter five seven and eight. You know we all know these, but you know what the Bible says? It says study to show yourself approved. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So First Peter five, chapter five, verse seven and eight says, "Cast all your cares." Mm -hmm. Cares your cares upon him, for he careth for you. And verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. You know, he's talking to Christians here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, how does he know who to attack? <laughs> We're going to be talking about words. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows who to attack because he knows what's coming out of your mouth. Uh -huh. And if you're speaking negative, we're opening the door for the enemy to come in. Well, how did he get in? And mm -hmm. you go back and think. <laughs> what you were saying, the things you said, is the things you said, not the things you thought. Mm -hmm. But to renew our mind before they come out of your mouth, before yeah. words come out of your mouth, think it. Mm -hmm. And before you speak it out, just say, uh, delete. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not spitting that out. I'm not, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's listening to what's coming out of your mouth. We need to be listening what we're saying. Mm -hmm. And even if we say it and say, hey, I take that back, Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I, I messed up. I confess. You know, take it back. Mm -mm. Let it go. But he said, he goes, first he says, your adversary. And then he says, the devil. <laughs> it wasn't your neighbor. <laughs> it wasn't the person you're accusing <laughs> or the person you maybe hate oh. or maybe the person you're blaming. Mm. But it says, the devil, mm -hmm. as a roy lion walking about seeking who he may devour. Mm -hmm. He knows who to devour mm -hmm. just by the words coming out of your mouth. Yeah. I mean, that right there, we need, we need to correct this. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't want the enemy around, then... Be careful what you say. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Don't let those words out. Keep them there. It also says to cast. Yeah. You know, hey, we're talking about disciples. We're talking about fishermen. You ought to cast a net out mm. to catch things. Mm. He said cast all your cares, you know. Mm. Cast means to throw. Yes. Don't just <laughs> be nice about it. He says 
cast all your cares, all your worries, all your anxieties, all these things, all these burdens that are coming against you, cast them on me because I care for you. Yeah. You know how much I care for you is I called you, I equipped you, and I want you to fulfill your mission. But all these extra weights and cares that you carry, mm. you shouldn't be carrying anymore. Mm -hmm. Let them go. I want you to be free in doing my work and yeah. doing my mission. Amen? Yeah, yeah. So praise God. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. ah, let me see. God's counting on me. God's counting on you, hoping we all put, pull through and fulfill our mission. Not letting extra weights, sins, cares, troubles, problems, distractions, bad reports oh, get in our way. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Stop you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. Remember that you, there's a call in your life. Yeah. And that call is from God. Amen? Mm -hmm. So if you have problems, if you need something, you go to God. Yeah. And you spend time with him, have a relationship with him, so you know how to fulfill and what to do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm preaching, buddy. Amen to me now. Amen. <laughs> He has called you and equipped you to win. What we do now will affect, uh, affect eternity. Mm -hmm. God's counting on us, believers, mm -hmm. his children, the body of Christ, the church. Again, me and you will affect eternity by doing what God has called us to do. Yeah. Isn't that amazing that yeah. you are part of this? Amen. You are part of this. And see yourself important. See yourself the way he sees you yeah. all the time. Don't see yourself a loser. That's right. He says, I made you to be a champion. Mm -hmm. I made you to be a winner. You're an overcomer. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So you know what? When the enemy is attacking you, when the giant attacked uh, David, <laughs> greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that's back in me than you. Mm -hmm. Whatever problem, whatever storm's coming against you, God is greater. God is greater. I got a thing here. Oh, here it is. God is greater yeah. than the burden you're carrying. Mm -hmm. Cast the burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. Mm -hmm. He will keep you. He'll support you. He won't let the righteous fall. Amen. He's on your side. He's not against you. Amen. So God is greater than the care, the burden, or whatever it is that is coming against you or you're carrying if you're carrying it, don't carry it no more. Yeah. <laughs> you ever picked up anything heavy? You yeah. don't want to carry it too far. Mm -hmm. It's too much. He says, don't carry it anymore. Give it away. Give it to yeah. He says, give it to me. So why are you still carrying it? <laughs> you got to give it away, to, uh, yeah. church. Amen. The text tells us what to do when troubles come, the storms come. Jesus says, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. The day may be calm, the sea may be calm, but guess what? As the day progresses, the storm is going to rise up. Mm -hmm. Amen. The storm is going to rise, but we are to be ready. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're to be ready. He's going to show up. He's going to be there. The disciples came from fishing. They didn't catch anything. But Jesus met them and says, hey, they cast out Say, I want to use you. I want to use your boat. And he used this boat to preach what he had to preach. And then he told them, you know what? I want you to go out cast, go out, and cast your, net, your nets. Yeah. And they only cast one net. Mm. And they caught fish. First, they said, wait a minute. <laughs> We're fishermen. We're professionals. And you're telling us how to fish? Yeah. We've been out all night. Didn't all catch anything. Night. But now you're telling us to go just a ways out. We've been way in the deep. And you want us to just go out a certain part, a certain distance, and cast the nets or net and do it. But you know, the, be the best thing about it is they obeyed him. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do the same thing. Yeah. We don't try to figure it out. Mm -mm. We just, whatever he says, we'll do. When we do, what we hear is endures of the word of God. Mm -hmm. We're going to press on. Mm -hmm. And we're going to succeed because... We're being obedient to what the Word of God tells us to do. Yeah. That's the good thing. <laughs> Praise God. God is, God is awesome. Daily, yeah. when we start a day, it's nice to be uh, nice and calm. Sometimes before we even walk out of the house, mm -hmm. we've got troubles. we got oh. problems. Amen. Oh. The enemy's going to see to it. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Things you say, things you hear, things you watch, mm. it's going to affect you right away. Or things that are pressing mm. wherever you're going. Yeah. Amen. You got to be careful. You got to be ready. <laughs> be on God's side, not against mm. God. Amen. Mm. Amen. Because we need him on our side. Amen. Yes, we do. Keep going, Amen. Scott. Move on a daily basis. Hallelujah. There we go. That's right where we're at. Matthew 6, 33, 34. But seek first the kingdom of God, yes. his righteousness, yes. and all these things will be given to you as well. Mm -hmm. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. That's right. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh, yeah. Amen. But God has already been there. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm having, I have faith in you. Mm -hmm. I have faith in what your word says. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. I ain't going to have no problems. I'm just going to step out in faith knowing that God is on my side. Yeah. And greater is he that sent me than he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So trouble brings uh, comes to all people, same and unsaved. Family problems, financial problems, uh, addiction problems, health problems, marital problems. Yeah. It comes to all people. He says, when you know the truth, it will set you free. Yeah. Now I know not to listen to the enemy's lies anymore. That's right. You know, but so-and-so said, mm. you don't have to listen to so-and-so. Mm. Now all you have to do is listen to what the Word of God yeah. says yeah. and be a hearer and doer mm. of what the Word of God tells you to do. Mm. Amen? So we said all that so we can start. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and most important, keep going, Scott, <clears throat> is guard your words. Yeah. Speak faith-filled words in your life. It sounds hard, but no excuse. We just got to do it. Amen. Amen. Do not be afraid or discouraged. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Yes. We always seem to say, well, you know, it's me against the world. I'm just <laughs> one person. Mm. No, it's God is with you. Mm -hmm. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. In Hebrews, yeah. he says the same thing. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. God, you're with me. You know, God is majority. And you're on God's team, so you're on a winning team. Amen. We're going somewhere to happen, and we're going to succeed. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Keep going. There we go. That's where the problem begins. Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. A man's stomach may be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. And now 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Amen. So don't get hung by the tongue, remember? Keep going, Scott. Keep going. Here we go. Words have power. God spoke this world into existence. Keep going. There we go. Every destiny is a mercy is at the mercy of your tongue mm. words amen that's very important and we we talked about uh being bombarded by negative things on a, a negative media on a daily basis mm. we have to know to renew our minds yeah. on a daily basis as yeah. often as we have to yes. amen as you hear it see it we got to renew our minds on a daily basis. Where is the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind. Yes. Amen. So the enemy can use the negative as well as we can think positive. Mm -hmm. But he can use the negative to try to influence you, yes. to pull you back yeah. where he wants you. So be careful. Renew it. Get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it. Just delete and get out of there. Yeah. And Romans 12 uh uh, 12 and 2 says, do not be conformed to the patterns of the word of this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. And you will be able to uh, test and approve what God will, good, uh, God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, Amen. hallelujah. Yeah. Keep going, Scott. Praise God. This is where we're going to start with number one here. <laughs> Trouble can be a blessing yeah. because sometimes trouble brings unity. No. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. we don't call on God until we find ourselves in, in trouble. 
unfortunately. But trouble brings unity, you know. That, uh, when earthquakes hit, when hurricanes hit, when wars hit, yeah, you know, brings people together. Yes, people start acting <laughs> civilized again, start acting normal again. We more neighborly. We mm. brings unity. Yeah. Unity definition is brings together, <coughs> unite to join, draws people together. Yeah. So remember, most deadly storms, hurricanes. Neighbors come together. They talk. Mm. You know, sometimes we don't even know our neighbors. Mm. We don't even talk to our neighbors. That's bad. Yeah. You know, tragedy hits, all of a sudden we know each other. <laughs> we see each other. Oh, I'm praying for you. Well, how you doing? You know, we talk. But sometimes trouble could be a good thing, could be a blessing, mm. because it draws together. Mm. Amen. It draws people to the Lord. Yeah. Trouble not only draws people together, it draws people to him. Amen. And he wants us. He wants to have a relationship with us. We're not the ones walk. We're, we're, he's not the one walking from us, away from us. We walk away from him. Because, you know, <laughs> when trouble comes, we seek him. When everything's fine and everything's calm, the storms are calm, we walk away. God... <laughs> Uh, this, listen to this, you can write this down. God is often the last resort instead of being the first resort. Mm. Yes, mm. <laughs> you know, we talk about this all the time. We treat him as a, a, as, as a spare tire. <laughs> we only pull you in case of emergencies. I know you're there. Just be there when I call you. Yeah. We're on demand of God all the time. You know, when we need you, we'll, 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 we'll put a demand for you. Whereas you need a spare tire, you know, only in case of emergencies. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we, we, we can't be that way. Mm -hmm. God is often the last resort mm -hmm. or the last option instead of being the first option. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need to turn this around. You know, a while back, I don't know how far back, but a while back, we were going around. Oh, I wasn't, but you saw something good and you said, man, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you remember this. But it was good, but you didn't say good. You know, it's a cool thing to say, man, that's bad. Why? Yeah. You know, it's just the enemy, <laughs> you know, having us confess the wrong things, yeah. you know. But you got to catch yourself yeah. and not say those things, you know. It's good, it's good. Bad is bad, mm. you know. <laughs> no <Not> bueno. <laughs> when problems arise in people's lives, it's <laughs> trouble forces us <coughs> to look beyond our own resources yes. and seek God. It draws believers and non-believers to church. Yeah. That's another thing. It draws to God. Become the church. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the assembly. Mm -hmm. The church is us. We're the church. We're the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. Amen. Us doing his mm -hmm. ministry on, on the earth. Amen. Yeah. But it, it draws us together. Do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together. And that's what we're doing. We're here. Amen. Amen. Trouble, trouble causes not believers and non-believers to seek the help and comfort of the church and other Christians. Churches are constantly getting calls from people when they are in need. Amen. Praise God. And of course, Hebrews 10, 25, you can mark this down. Let us not neglect our uh, uh, meeting together. Come, yeah. in the, come in here, as some people do. But encourage one another, especially now that yeah. the days of his return are drawing near. Oh, yeah. We need him more and more. We need to be aware, aware of this, you know, where we come together. You know, <laughs> this is not just happening in Bill old Marfa. Yeah. This is happening everywhere where yeah. everybody is not wanting to come to church anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not wanting to come and assemble ourselves together. That's right. We, we, we have TVs, we have phones, we have all kind of equipment, media stuff, you know, that we can just tune into and record and say, hey, I watched it already. Hey, I've been there already. You know, I don't need to go to church. I don't need to assemble myself with all these. I've already seen it. Well, guess what? When you have problems, <laughs> you try calling them. Yeah. See how many respond. <laughs> you try calling the pastor. And see if he responds. Mm -hmm. He says, assemble yourselves together. 
Amen. Wherever he has you. Amen. <laughs> so let's remember that he's telling us in his word. Yes. Let us not neglect our meetings together. Amen. Where we can meet with him, worship him, and encourage one another. Yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Trouble is worldwide. Sooner or later, guess what? <laughs> it comes to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to seek trouble. It will come. <laughs> Matthew 4, excuse me, Matthew 5, 45, in the New Living Translation says, Then you may uh, be the sons of your Father who is in heaven. His sun shines on the bad people and on the good people. He sends rain on those who are, are right with God and those who are not right with God. Mm -hmm. So trouble comes to the Christians and the non-Christians alike. Yes. It comes to the young and the old. It doesn't discriminate because of age, sex, right. excuse me, uh, age, race, or sex. Yes, yes. <laughs> it comes. Mm -hmm. You got to know what, what to do, amen. Trouble comes to the lost man <clears throat> and draws him, hopefully draws him to God. Trouble comes to the Christian to draw him even closer to God, amen? Yeah. So this is on a daily basis. You know, when we have relationship, make it a whole lot easier for us. Mm -hmm. Amen? To be hearers and doers of what God wants us to do. Amen. So praise God. First Corinthians 10, 13 says this in the easy to read version. The only temptations that you have are the same temptations that all people have. <clears throat> but you can trust God. He will let you be tempted he will not let you be tempted more than you can uh, bear. That's but right. when you are tempted, God will also give you a way of escape that Amen. temptation. Then you'll be able to endure it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so, attitude is important. Yeah. Oh. We've talked so many times about this. We are to have a winning attitude on a yeah. daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not just once in a while. Not just when you, you know, you're on top of the yeah. mountain, you know. <laughs> but when you're on the bottom too, you know, he's God on the mountain, he's God in the valley. Yes. Amen. But your attitude may, makes a whole lot of difference, you yes. know. And we got to be careful, remember, renewing our minds because you hang around with negative people. And your attitude is going to go down. You know what they say, you hang around with skunks and yeah. <laughs> you're going to stink. So you got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody still love pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Attitude is important. Be a winner, not a loser. Yeah. You know, people try to put up, put stuff on you. Mm -hmm. Don't don't accept it. That's it. The enemy try to use the enemy uses people just like God uses people. Yes. So you be careful. You know what they're confessing? I'm not receiving this. <laughs> this is not for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something positive. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be the difference between a good day or a bad day. Yeah. Can be a happy marriage or an unhappy marriage. Mm -hmm. Can be the difference between a good life and a bad life. Mm -hmm. Attitude relates to our life and walk with Jesus. Yeah. Attitude affects the way we worship. <laughs> Attitude affects our altitude. Yeah. Amen. Right. How high you want to go, mm -hmm. you know, affects your attitude. Affects it. Mm -hmm. So. We got to get this right, church. You know, as you walk with him and he's counting on you, people are going to come to you, but you got to be up and up and you got to have a good attitude. Not too many people are going to walk up to you if you have a bad attitude. <laughs> and sometimes you see a lot of this in the world. You know, they don't, they're not happy where they're at, they're not happy where they serve. And there's a lot of road rage going on. And there's not a, not a lot of happiness going on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bible says, joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. So be joyful. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, if they don't like you say, because you say Jesus, then I'll say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus all the time. <laughs> 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 I've got 12 brothers, you know. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, we're not all Jesus, but uh, I have a few <laughs> Jesuses in, in my, brother, my brothers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Praise God, amen. <laughs> We're not here to please the world. We're here to please God, amen. amen. And the world's going to try to mold you into their little world, into yes. their little shape. And you say, uh, uh you know, that's not me. You know. Trouble gets our attention. Romans uh, 5, 3, and 4 says, we are, in the New Living Translation, 
We're glad for our troubles also. We know that troubles helps us to learn not to give up. Yeah. When we have learned not to give up, it shows we have stood the test. Mm -hmm. When we have stood the test, it gives us hope. <coughs> we have all been tested. We have our testimony. Uh -huh. You've been tested. How do you know? We all have a testimony. The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. You have a testimony that God wants you to use yes. when, he, when, he, when he says, share your testimony. Mm -hmm. Because some people have been, been through what you've been through. Mm -hmm. And your testimony is going to help them yes. get out of that mess. Yes. Amen. I've been through that, brother. I know I've been through that. You know, instead of putting them down and instead of yeah. seeing the negative in, in everyone, as oh, seeing the bad in people, you said, you know what? I've been through that. Mm. Let me tell you how I overcome <clears> this. <throat> Only through Christ. Only through Christ. Only through Jesus, you know. <clears throat> All this, you know, can bring you out. Yeah. It can bring you out or out of this mess, you know. Yeah. But I've been through there. God brought me out, and he can bring you out as well. Mm. Amen. And start a new day and start a new life today. And serving yeah. him. Amen. And of course, uh, Revelation 12, 11, that's what one I just told you in the New King James. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Yeah. And they did not love their lives unto death. Yeah. So when trouble comes into our lives, our first prayer is, <laughs> Lord, help me. Get me out of this. Oh. Deliver me quickly. <laughs> Deliver me now. Mm -hmm. We want him now. You know, this is the yeah. uh, spare tire crisis. <laughs> you know, if you get me out of this this time, I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I've been there before. None of you have been there, but I know I have. <laughs> so praise God. Ah, James 4 and 8 says, come near to God and he will come near to you. You know, we shame, we're ashamed of God. He said, he'll be ashamed of you. But he says, if you draw close to me, he says, I'll draw close to you. Matter of fact, he, he's knocking and, and he wants to come in, but we're not letting him in. We need to let him in. Open the door and let God in. He wants to come in. Amen? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I need you on a daily basis. Praise God. Yes, thank you, Lord. So trouble produces a spiritual maturity, and we are to mature in the things of God. Learn from our mistakes. You know, nobody's perfect. Right. Learn from it. Amen? <laughs> Praise God. Lord. And trouble glorifies God. It can glorify God by furthering the gospel. Paul wrote regarding his afflictions in Philippians uh, 1 and 12 says, an easy to read version. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that all that has been that has happened to me has helped spread the God the good news. Yeah. God used them in a mighty way. God never took his hands off of him, you know. God used them. Remember, he was the one that said uh, uh, he was going around killing Christians. <clears throat> and God used him in a mighty way. Even though he was in prison, prison was not in him. And he wrote two-thirds of the Bible. Amen? So praise God. Amen. Amen. God wants to do the same with you. He hasn't given up on, he, on you. You don't give up on yourself. That's why it's so important that you don't let the world get in you. Don't let the world uh, dictate to you. Renew your mind mm -hmm. so that you can have a relationship. And renew your mind so you don't see the, yourself the way the world sees you. And start picturing you a certain way. And you start seeing yourself the way the world sees you. And start wanting to please the world. See yourself the way God sees you. Yes. And you'll fulfill what he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm trusting you. I know I can do all things through you. And I'm pressing on. And I want to be that servant of God that's going to fulfill what God has called me to do. Amen. Amen. So in closing. Amen. We know what to do when the storms of life come. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Spend time with him. Seek first the kingdom of God. Yeah. Seek him first. Matthew 6.33. Amen. Cast your cares on Him. Meditate on what the Word of, on the on the Word of God. Renew your mind with the Word. Amen. Amen. Feed your spirit. Study to show yourself approved. You know, mm -hmm. and we mature, incline this 
spiritual ladder, one rung at a time, one day at a time, growing and going for God. Amen. Not just sitting down doing nothing. You know, well, you know, God has gifted you, amen, and he wants you to go and fulfill this mission. Count your blessings. Get rid of excess baggage. Time wasters. Dream busters. You're always going to attract these guys. These guys are going to just come to you. Amy's going to see to it. He sends them your way, you know, just like a shotgun blast coming at you all the time. And, you know, it's like, is that what you do? Oh, man, you know, let me tell you, you got to take some time off. You got to do this. You got to stop this. You can't do so much, you know. And they, you got all these dream busters out there, you know. Mm. They just want to stop you and say, hey, it's time for you to take some time off. If you deserve it, that's fine. But these uh, waste time, waste timers, these uh, dream busters are going to, are going <laughs> to, whatever you want to call them, they're going to come and they're going to try to, take your time. Say, excuse me, but when it's time to go, it's time to go. Excuse, amen. Guard your amen. words. Faith-filled words. Speak faith-filled words, amen. Sometimes we gotta control the tongue because the tongue wants to shoot out and give a thief a few, but it's not a good thing. Let it go, amen. amen. So, and on a daily basis, remember to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Yeah. As you go out into this world. Yeah. So I pray that you uh, receive <laughs> yeah. and, and press on and go for God. Amen. Be the blessing yeah. he's called you to be. Yeah. Amen. And succeed what God has called you to be. And here's the thing we, we've been talking about. God can count on me. Lord, you can count on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, you know, a coach depends on his, uh, on his players. <clears throat> you know? And even if, I, if I'm riding the bench, I may not be the the one out on the court, but if I'm going to be on the bench, I'm going to be the best bench person there is. You know, support the ones, encourage the ones that are out there, you know, until I get out there. Yeah. Amen. So you could be that way yourself. Amen. So praise yeah. God, those of you that are listening, uh, watching, if uh, you've never accepted Christ, this is just, God wants to use you. God wants to count on you. Mm -hmm. So if you never accepted him, now's the time. Just say, Lord Jesus, I failed you. I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Mm -hmm. And start this day. Yeah. Don't waste any more time. You know, we're getting to the end of the year. And uh, some of us are already thinking, I wasted all this year. What can I do? You know, we see ourselves failures. Well, God don't see you that way. You see yourself that way. The world sees you this way, but God doesn't see you this way. You know, it's time to make a change and start to start start with Christ right now on a day, you know, on a daily basis. So just say, Lord Jesus, come to my life, be my Lord and Savior, and you make a change and start reading the Word, start going to a church that's preaching the what the gospel, preaching the good news, Amen. Yeah. And, uh, and and you could be an awesome, awesome, awesome servant of God. Amen. So yeah. praise God. Amen. That's it. Uh, I receive it. I hope you receive it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that time.